Hi, thanks for joining us on this webinar. By now you know that I'm Dr. Jana Bogues. I'm a nutritionist who became a horticulturalist and a crop consultant. And this was something that came out of my need to try to find foods that were actually high quality because we had lost so much nutrient density from our foods. There were several studies that came out that compared nutrient density from like 50 years prior. And looking at how much we had lost, I knew that I had to go back to the soil and get it figured out as to how we are going to grow high quality food that can sustain us. So I did research in the university that was highly unusual actually and no one else that I am aware of has ever done this type of research where I actually looked at soil parameters, looked at the plant tissue and looked all the way to human blood. So I have written a whole book. This is a picture here, Beyond Organic Growing for Maximum Nutrition and Flavor. This is the cover of my book and I detail a lot of this research in there. Good health comes from good food grown in nutrient-balanced soil. Yes, of course, food is not the only thing that impacts our health, but it's a huge thing that really does, and something that we can control to a large extent. So getting those nutrients from the food that we need then helps build every single cell of our body, and that is the basis of good health. We find ourselves in an alarming predicament. What has happened to our health? Have you noticed how, in general, the health of the population has just declined in the last number of years? We have this huge rate of cardiovascular disease taking one in three people's lives. The overall risk of developing cancer is one in two people. And autism is rising exponentially. At the current trend, by 2032, one in two children born will have autism. That's a very scary statistic. The World Health Organization has claimed that there's 3 billion people, well, that's like half of the population of the planet practically, that suffer from nutrient deficiencies. And some doctors estimate that 99% of people have nutrient deficiencies. And what does this turn into? Nutrient deficiencies result in a loss of our health, a loss of our potential and a loss of our happiness. If you're not healthy, you can't enjoy life. So a lot of people say, oh, well, I take nutritional supplements so that I can get everything I need. And so what about nutritional supplements? Well, the studies like Dr. William Shive from the University of Texas did a study and he found that 50% of people taking multivitamins are still nutritionally deficient. And there's been numerous studies, and here's one listed from Jacobs and Tapsell. Well, there's also Fardet and Rock from 2014, that um, whole food sources of nutrients are more effective than isolated nutrients taken as supplements. Now, it's getting back to what your body really wants. It wants real food with real nutrients and food that's grown the right way. So taking these individual supplements can sometimes further imbalance your body, especially something like calcium tablets. And that calcium seems to be one of the things that's missing quite a bit in the diet, lacking. And so especially with women trying to avoid bone loss, they'll take more calcium supplements. And these calcium supplements can be sort of just like ground up rocks. It's not matrixed in food like our bodies normally would be getting our calcium. And these calcium pills then get absorbed to a certain extent, but then a lot of the calcium ends up going into the soft tissue instead of into our bones and our teeth where we really want it. The reason we're seeing this loss of nutrients is because something bad has happened to our food. Our food has lost up to 70% of certain critical nutrients in the last 70 years. These are minerals and vitamins and other type phytonutrients that occur in plants that we need for our health. These studies are from really around the world, the US, the UK, and Australia. Now, does this apply to organic too? Because people think, oh, I'm gonna buy certified organic and I'm gonna get more nutrition. Well, there's been hundreds of studies comparing conventional and organic. Doesn't show much difference. The organic has a little bit more of a few things, but really, overall, it's 
not much different in nutrient density. Fortunately, your health is in your hands. It's definitely not in the medical system, even though the medical system can help us in certain ways, especially when there's been an accident and you've got to get patched up with surgery or something like that. But there's no magic pill. People are lo seem to be looking for magic pills. But what it is is we really need to return to nature and look to what is going to give us that good nutrition from nature and in our own gardens. So this is actually very empowering that we each individually can have our own garden with balanced soil, grow these great foods, get our great nutrition, and just the interaction of being out in the garden is very healthful also. Um, light exercise and getting your hands in the dirt, the soil microbes are actually important for our own microbiome, our gut bacteria, etc. And so it's just, it's, it's a stress reliever too, just being out in the garden, in touch with nature, and literally in touch because the earth gives off these ions that act as antioxidants for us. And so that's why people feel better when they go out in nature. Here's an interesting study comparing food that's grown well versus food that's not grown well. This is a rabbit study that was comparing hay grown with and without calcium limestone amendments. The fecal and urine analyses revealed that there was a high removal of calcium, phosphorus, and nitrogen from both hays in the digestive tracts of these rabbits. So that meant that they were actually able to digest and get that stuff out of their gut into their bloodstream. The calcium, phosphorus, and nitrogen from the hay grown on unlimed soil were lost to a high degree in the urine. So they just weren't able to utilize it. Even though they got it across the gut barrier into the blood, they weren't able to actually utilize it in their tissue. There was more complete absorption and synthesis into the animal tissue of calcium, phosphorus, and nitrogen from hay that was grown on the limed soil so the soil that had the amount of calcium that it should have had. This is applicable to our situation as well, that we need to get our food from soils that are balanced with all the nutrients to help make the plants healthy and then in turn to make us healthy. Here's an example of a comparison between a nutrition grown crop of beets and the USDA average. So over on the left, you'll see the list of nutrients. That's calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, zinc, copper, and manganese in the protein at the bottom. So then the second column is the USDA average. So the USDA publishes nutrient databases um, on a regular ongoing basis and has since the 1930s. So we can look back and compare things. And then this sample, the next column, is the nutrition grown beets. And then we look at the differences. So the final column, you can see that um, like more, 88% more, 81%, <laughs> um, 61%, and um, especially down in the trace elements, zinc, copper, and manganese, look how much greater that is, and protein even doubled. So this is what we can do when we grow the right way. I've been working with growers for a number of years doing their soil analysis and helping them to grow these better quality crops. But it seemed like there needed to be more education beyond just the book. I wanted to have an online interactive course that people from all over could participate in to understand how to grow this really great food. Well, it's here now. It's called Perfect Soil, Ultimate Food, Vibrant Health, and True Success. We'll be stepping through a whole 19-week program helping you every step of the way to grow these high quality foods. So there's two options if you'd like to take a course. There's the basic course and the more in-depth certificate course. And both courses include 19 teaching videos with handouts to help you learn as you watch on your own schedule, and comprehensive soil analysis, which comes with 18 different minerals and that's for your farm or garden. You can go to my website and you can see more about this comprehensive soil analysis. It's like there's almost no one that does this kind of soil analysis with all these different minerals. 
and really balancing it for increasing nutrient density. That's the key too. It's how it's interpreted and um, being able to use that to increase the nutrient density of your foods. And then I am also including my ebook, Beyond Organic Growing for Maximum Nutrition and Flavor. And this ebook has been number one in two categories on Amazon. So it's been well accepted. <laughs> and um, then we have weekly group calls with me to learn more um, and answer your questions. So each week, and, and that's it, we're going to be stepping through this whole thing um, step by step so you can feel comfortable doing your soil analysis and getting all your amendments put in the soil and then growing your crop. And, and then um, if you're taking the certificate course, that also includes plant tissue analysis, which um, that is like taking the leaf tissue and we analyze it to see what is in that leaf and what is missing. And then we can determine what we need as far as a custom foliar nutrition spray which is just sprayed on the leaves and it increases the nutritional content of the food. So it's giving that plant what it needs right now so it can do well this season. And then the final food product is also going to be analyzed for nutrient density and then it's compared to USDA values to show all this incredible nutritional difference that can be achieved. And one-on-one -on -one calls are also included for up to a year with a certificate course to help you complete your food growing project. Some crops are long-term, more long-term crops, and I just want to make sure that everyone that does this really gets a good understanding of the whole system of growing in this way. And finally, when you're all done, you get a certificate of completion to hang on your wall and put on your resume. And for those that want, they can have a website listing so I can promote you on my website as a certified graduate of the course and that will help you to connect with produce buyers or possibly employers. So I'm offering a 30% discount for the viewers of this webinar, but you must act quickly. So give me a call. I'm at 808-938-9888, or you can email me at info at beyondorganicresearch.com. Yes, so you must do that to get the discount. You can go look on my website, and that's beyondorganicresearch.com slash course for more information on the course itself. And um, yet, you won't see the discount price there. You'll have to actually contact me personally, and then we can get it going. So thank you for your time, and I look forward to working with you.